I'm back. Is left. Hmm. <laughs> who's, who's left to come back? Hmm. What? <laughs> Boom. We're going to see how this symbiotic relationship is going to work. <laughs> Quite. I excited it'll, about it. It'll work swimming. Well, I mean, if he's an arch druid, that means he's a level 20 druid. <laughs> <laughs> this could be epic. Uh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of capabilities. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. Who's the second person again? G -g it's like something short, like Grack. Gack. Glark? I think. G huh? Glark. 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 Okay. And now I'm just like, is there a, a funny situation of, oh, Ken fails the 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 whole person. But Glarg does not, does pass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, there's a whole bunch of scenarios where that, that like I said, comes in handy. I remember in 1st edition, there was a creature, I think it was in the Fiend Folio, called the Tween. And it was a creature that bonded with a person that could see like two or three seconds into the future. So... At that time, you rolled everything at advantage, and everyone else, everyone else rolled at disadvantage. Wow. That's, uh, that's foresight now. Yeah. <laughs> that's a ninth level spell. Yeah, that was a critter. One of my, one of my, uh, well, one of my Greyhawk characters had this thing, and it was a terrible pain in the ass. It was awesome for me, but everyone else hated me. <laughs> I'm going to roll to try and hit him. Cool. Disadvantage. Fuck. Yeah. Well, even my, when my party was in combat, every one of their rolls was also, it was rolled twice, take the, the second. It wasn't the lesser. It was always the second. All right, man, that is rough. <laughs> yeah, because you got that high roll on the first one. You're like, oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I didn't hear any. Glad you're in the party whenever they got the second roll was a hit. Mm -hmm. I always, but I did hear about it when they missed. <laughs> Uh, wait, do y'all, did you, are you halfway caught up on Critical Role? No, I am actually oh, watched okay. it this week, so I watched, well, I'm not sure I didn't watch all of it last time. I stopped at the break last night and I was tired. So no, I'm not caught up. All right, I'm back finally. Yeah, I guess I should install that module for checking in and checking out. Yeah, what the hell? Break time? Yeah. I didn't pay you for anyone. <laughs> uh -huh. What? Did you guys ever pay me for anything? What the hell? Snack time! All right. Yeah, that was me. I forgot to mute, yeah, I forgot to mute myself. <laughs> If, if you want, Tony, I have a list of 154 mods that I have on latest stuff. I, I use 154 mods now. <laughs> That's all right. I'll just look up break time and get that one for now. I'm still going through the first list of, I think it was 81 mods you had initially. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few changes you need to make here. Like, you need to get rid of minor quality of life and switch from MIDI QOL. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Oh, and I did adjust the reach. So, you guys should be able to open the doors in this tower now. Is that where you're going? Right. Well, unless we want to get the hell out of here. We don't really have a clue to define where this drow was the dragon. Yeah, do we need to, what do you, what's the crew thing? Do we need to check in with the, uh, the city lords or skip that little detail and forget about that? Mm, Double-edged sword. Yeah, they may be able to point us in a direction, but then again, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know that anyone's got enough uh, sand in them to tell us what to do and make us do anything that we don't want to do. But then we don't want to be a problem either. So you're right, double-edged sword. Yep, yep. Because uh, we can deal with one group hunting us. We can't deal with both sides hunting us. So. True. We could be the A-team. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you've already got your uh, B.A. Baracus and yeah, Craig. just went back to 1985. Yeah. <laughs> Ken is howling mad, Murdoch. Yeah. <laughs> I've been the fool. I've been the fool. I always liked Murdoch. <laughs> been the fool that make, make fun of Mr. T. So what are we doing? What's the next move? Explore the tower, go see the city, fathers and mothers, maybe? Or do we get out of here and strike out on our own and find our own trail? That's the question. Do we want to be try to keep our independence? Or do we want to independence? Oh, yeah, probably. Information. I think we need to be the irregular group. They can grab their troops and formations and all that. I think we need to be the spoilers that are disrupting shit in the background all the time. Sweet. Um, but Okay, the people in here are not the people, the lords, right? Or am I misremembering that? So the Council of Magicians is supposedly in the top top portion of the tower the city council the city council 
is at Castle Greyhawk. Council of Magicians could be interesting. Very useful. They actually may be able to pinpoint or at least direct us to one of these targets. What do you think? It's still a double-edged sword, but I feel like it's... they've got to be more flexible. Yeah. It's probably one of those things also. If we go terrorizing around here, eventually they're going to catch up with us anyway and want to know what we're all about. So maybe yeah. the right move is to get with them now. and mm -hmm. They can send us but... to do whatever, and we can do whatever we want. Yeah, I mean, what we're looking at right now is simple. Uh, they're going to be less involved in politics. They're probably involved in politics and all that shit, but they're going to be less involved because wizards yeah. are big <laughs> What was you that? Know, like, <laughs> I'm folding my laundry to keep awake, and I've lost a shirt off the side of my bed. <laughs> I want to go for it. Hey, I've got a couple of baskets you can do after that. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I already have <laughs> two weeks worth. Just, just offering, <laughs> just trying to help. I mean, I got a basket as well if you want to come over and. Uh... Yeah, no, you guys, you and you and Chris have a better system than I do. Well, actually, we we have the same system. You're you're you just it actually works for you. So, Council of Magicians, I say yes to them because I don't really don't want them coming after us more. You know, other guys show up at the worst possible time. Is that a drow? I attack. No, it's good. It is not a drow. Uh, we're looking for a Morden kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you have a. Uh, it appears to be a Eldrin wizard and uh, some sort of blood witch. <laughs> well, you don't see any flying monkeys, so. Oh, that's what a positive. <laughs> on my carpet. <clears throat> Craig, did you ever decide? Are you all fixed for gear? You got a, you got a, a good base going there. <laughs> Dude, I definitely play too much. Okay. Fixed is, is his armor. That's about where your your status is. I need more armor. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to give up my adamantite. So, yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Just making sure you didn't lose too much to be uh, more exposed if we get into a big fight. I, I lost chump items. Honestly, I lost uh, things like, you know, plus one longsword or plus two battle axe. Garbage. Okay. I'm just making sure. You know, you know me, I'm always terrible. Team player, dude. Making sure everybody's got something. Oh, no, no. I still got all the good stuff. All right, then. What do these fry lines want? Yeah, basically, they're looking at you guys as you're filing in. Uh, with some curious interest, but mostly they're like, okay, who the hell are you guys, and how did you get past, uh, uh... The dragon? Yeah, what's the dragon's name again? Oh, Grim, uh, Grim, uh, Galgrim? Galgrim, yes, that is correct. Uh... Oh, hey, Tony. Yeah. Another bit of... I have true seeing that's always going with my helm and surround sight, which I think you mean in this system, blind sight. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And is the, the blind sight, is it a 30 foot radius around me or is it tighter? It's 30. Okay. So I have true seeing going at all times and I can speak all languages from that helm. Yep. All right. Just reminding you to, that. Uh, yeah, that I have those things going. They're passive. Okay. Yeah, I just have the true sight. So. <laughs> Us magic folks were ordered to report here. That's what we're doing. Idiots. 
You're not supposed to. I agree. You're idiots. Excuse me? I don't know. I just hit things. Are you the council, or are there more of you on the council? Well, until last night, there used to be eight of us. Did you get killed by the ice devils? Or the, the devil? Please? No, we got killed by Tiamat. So the queen of the dragon showed up. Well, some part of her showed up. She looked like a drow. Yes. Yeah, we're trying to figure out how to close the stupid portal. Which one? The one downstairs. You walked right by it. Did you turn it off? Uh, yeah, I believe I so. It off for a while. That might be good news. Yeah, it wasn't that terribly difficult. You know, because you know, smart people would have figured it out right away. <laughs> Try to get turned into a toad by the blood witch. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Anyway, they're like. You're welcome. Did we close a portal? Yeah, I threw. I I threw. A, what was that? Astral diamond or something like that? Into it. I turned it off. Yeah. yeah. Any other problems that you need solved? Uh. Is it paid for? No. You could rid us of all the damn demons pouring out. That's how we stop that pouring of demons because they are using those crystals from the animal to produce more beans. So, any information you can do to help us track that stuff down would be grand. Go back to the city? And what was the status of the city? We left it in a hurry for a reason. Yeah, the demons were pouring out into the city. City. And please don't say kill them all or our time here will be finished. <laughs> Looks like our time here is finished. <laughs> yeah. Any particular location that you'd state is there is a is a no go place just completely filled with demons to the point that it should be avoided at this time? Yeah, the city. Yeah. Currently, the demons are coming out of the Temple of Palor. Palor, okay. Ooh, really? Yes, they have defiled the temple, and they're using that as their portal. Dead. Uh, all that we know. 
Apparently, Asmodeus has a little more expensive taste. What does that mean? Well, he and the devils that are fighting the demons are at the state of Lord Silverfox. Wow, a lot of names. Lord Silverfox? That's a new one. Have we heard that one before, kids? Technically, it's been on the map, but... Yeah, it's on the map. I don't know the extent of it. Is it? Um, garden Quarter? Ah, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. And what about that? Oh, they've taken over the... The estate. Yeah. Well, as a Bodius, it's not someone that I really want to work with. For obvious reasons. to the sword the lord will know what you do it i mean there's, there's devil's demons it's another one so yeah. the portal is here with the temple of paylor as modius forces are here fighting the forces at paylor right yes hmm. um has anyone actually seen the portal magic means or otherwise yes Okay, give me a description of it. I'm assuming it's not like the Ricky D portal we just dealt with. No, and this is where the Blood Witch starts talking. Mm -hmm. She's like, no. The portal is 40 feet wide, 30 feet tall. Hmm. Basically, uh, there's a using a pile of doubles to keep it open. That would be devils or demons, then? That would be a pile of devil bodies. Oh. Well, the, the last astral diamond I used was worth what, like 200? <laughs> Anthony, the closest, the smaller portal, the smaller portal. Uh, 200,000. The one I threw in to turn it off. That was yeah. 200,000? 200, yeah. Uh, well, we're going to need a lot of diamonds, astral diamonds, for that to be turned off. Is that the only way to do it? No. Orcus is one. Damn, we're fresh out of that. What else? Hmm. Asmodeus is staff. Also, just lost that. Keep going. Kill them all. Yeah, I was about to say the last option is to clear clear the floor, Lockhart. All right. So where do we obtain these diamonds? <laughs> Astral plane. Oh, okay. Just, uh, do we need to be in a certain, uh, can we project ourselves? No, wait, that's like, the... I don't know. Astral projection? No, that's not that capability. Yeah, I forgot. I mean, I can go into the astral plane. Okay, get us to the astral plane. I don't want to be in the astral plane. <laughs> so, so, getting getting there isn't even half the thing. We need to know where to find them. Do we have a lead on where to find such diamonds? Mm. She points at uh, Crag and goes, His hammer can lead you there. Oh, uh, yeah. Remind me, Crag, was it your hammer that was sentient? Uh, according, to, according to Brosphere, it's not sentient. Uh, okay. But it can do this! Nothing. What what that is impressive indeed. What just what, happened? What what's happening? Hi uh, I'm Bob. We're, we're trying to find Astral Diamonds. Astral Diamonds? Yeah. 
Huh, well, well, I got a big stash of astral diamonds. Really? Where? On the astral plane. Sweet, let's go. Up, up, and away. And I raise the hammer up. Nothing happens. Maybe check on my plane shifting spell. <laughs> up, up, and away. And I try it again. Is that like Undercover Brother trying to use the platform shoes so they don't yep. work? <laughs> okay. I swear this work, worked at least once before. Swing the hammer. Oh, wait, no, that's not, that's not a die roll. That was just a 20. <laughs> so do we hear his hammer speaking or just him? You hear the hammer. Um, okay, well, the ha uh, Bob. Uh, Astral Plane's kind of a big plate. Hi, my name's Bob. Yeah, Bob. So Bob the Hammer. Specific, yeah, Bob the Hammer. Is there a specific location? Mm, my house. Yeah. Is your house near a city or? Mm, not really. Is Bob a spirit of intellect? Hmm. <laughs> I have my own island. What's the island called? Hmm. It has a name. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, well, if you can if you can remember that name, I can teleport us directly there. Hmm. Hmm. But keep in mind, everybody. It's the island of. Of, of, what was it? What? Cord. That's right. My name is Cord. Cord? Can I just call you Bob? Uh, hi, I'm Bob. I think someone messed with his brain. <laughs> Bro Spear said he's not all there. Uh, it's only part of it. Blarg, is there a way to get all his uh, soul? <laughs> sure. All you need is a cobalt coin. <laughs> Go figure. What do you need? Okay, there's more to that story. What's the cobalt coin when you do take the Yes. Glard, Glard, Glard. Yes. Do you know who Corey is? Yes. Is he good or bad? Mm. Well, generally, he sleeps. So how about we not get his full soul back? That's just my vote. <laughs> well, should also... Call Cord really hates dragons. I'm looking at Flockar now. <laughs> yeah, I did. I remembered Cord is some god of war of sorts. I didn't remember much more than that. Yeah, he, he's a he's a he's a fighting god. He really hates lawful evil dragons. So like Tiamat. Yep. Yep. Hi, let's go get his all. Do we? Oh, every point. Me do, we get the, do we get the uh, diamonds first, then get his soul to make to ensure that we get our hands on the diamonds? Well, or is that backwards? On the island of Cord. In the yeah, his island. Plane. Uh huh. Oh, well, if that place exists, I can take us directly there. Mm. I mean, it definitely exists. So do we go there and secure the diamonds and work on the sword, or do it the other way around? He seems to be fairly agreeable at his time all right now. He might not be with his soul intact. 
can I roll to see how much I know about Ford? Sure. Hi, I'm Bob. Sure. I'm going to roll of guidance as well. Religion. Normal. Uh, wait a minute. That's not right. My religion should be plus four. One second. Almost done. It should be a 13 for that card. 25. Okay. Big boy brain. <laughs> All right, stop. By the way, I saw that my dice slow roll away from a five. I was like, come on. Are you shitting me? Wow. Uh, I think only sometimes. Sheet, sheet changed over. It had all my proficient uh, skills as half proficient. Jack of all trades? What the hell? Well, not all of them. Those that were should have been proficient were only half proficient. What did it, what did it look like? Uh, half circle. Yeah, that is half proficient. Yeah. Okay. For whatever reason, I can't paste that. Uh okay in Discord. Gotcha. I I I rolled high enough just to get the wiki page. <laughs> uh, let's go to pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob. He is. He is the Storm Lord. question do we go get the secure the diamonds and then the soul or the other way around well he's more amiable now say again he's got to be more amiable now yeah uh, that's a big work i don't understand it means he'll be nicer right now so he'll we're be nicer after, after we get score. him back and notices that we stole all the diamonds a fair point see i think craig just plays that <laughs> Uh, well, let's put it this way. It's it's a deity. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Forgiveness may be pretty thin on that side of the equation. Yeah. So, so basically, the explanation is that we can tell that we're actually some demon from evil dragon. So, if he hates dragons and we have to go out to Tiamat, and he brings up a good point. He might be a little pissed that we took his stuff and took advantage of him if we give him the soul back. Sounds like we need to get his soul back first. Well then, that's off to the cobalt alley. Oh, God. And whatever entity that has his soul. Say again? Well, if we're going through the cobalt soul, that means one or two things. Either we're going to find Ford there, which will be fine. That means we can directly talk to him. Or we're going to have someone that has the rest of his soul. Oh, yeah. I would say... It's got to be you or me, Lockgar. Yeah. And worse yet... One of them has to take the hammer with us. Uh, no. How about I just go with you and hold on to the hammer? No, because one or two things are going to happen. That hammer is probably going bye-bye. No. Because if we find Cord, we have to give him the hammer. We'll see. How about we just go... How about I go with whoever's going? 
Hmm? Can't uh, we all go? I don't know if we all can go, actually. I think it might be just one person. What if yeah, we hold no, hands? That's what I was wondering about. Is it just the coin bearer goes, or does everyone go? I think it's just the coin bearer. What last time I used it, it <laughs> came with me. Well, we weren't holding hands. How about, how about Lockar and I go? Yeah, I would suggest... How about, how about, how, about, how many coins we got? We ha I have two. I have two. All right, so Lockar, give me a coin. We'll just go together. Oh, sorry. Right. Or, uh, or he could use one too and we could three go. Or we could have coins and all go. Well, the issue is if we all go, we might all end up in separate things. Not as we all dance. I don't know. Hey, Mr. Smart Magey people, how do we use these to all go to the same place? That's true. We are still in the tower, aren't we? Yeah. I like how the, 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 the wizardy people yeah. are all just standing at us, staring at us as we talk and discuss this crap. Yeah. <clears throat> Be useful. Tell us what's going on. Well, uh, the one uh, Eladrin wizard just kind of looks at you and he's like, uh, basically, you just need one coin. See, that's what I figured. If you are all holding coins, you will all go to separate places. So, if we're holding hands and use one coin, we we'll all go to the same place. Yeah, but I look the... at Lockar and Ken. It's like I told you so. But the person holding the coins, the only person. Who can participate in the wager? Yep, that's the big but. Uh, with one small exception. It does give him the power to wager everybody's soul who is there. Mm. Well, only Ken's the only one with, like, three souls. They're, and they're only fractional. Oh, he also has his mother's soul. Oh, that's true. I got the full thing on that one. I have four. <laughs> so I, I have no experience in do, doing these uh, gambles because I just don't do them. So what's entailed in this? Well, you're going, you're, it's basically a dice game. Uh, and whoever, you know, whoever wins the dice game with the higher numbers wins the uh, the wager. And with the wager, you bet a certain percentile of whatever soul you're wanting to bet. The mm -hmm. problem is the mightier the soul, the, you know, the more you can bet, right? Like, you can bet into higher categories. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably have to bet that, that hammer. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, we're not betting the hammer. None of us have a soul that's powerful enough to probably wager with a god, except for um, our druid here. We don't know until we try. Second of all, who, 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 who's, who's not full up on magic items? <laughs> no, it's, you need souls, not magic items. Who's not full up? Did I ask? Did I stutter? Who's not full up on magic items? <laughs> I think we're all pretty well decked out. Oh, it's a Ken. Is not full up on magic items? Nope. Well, apparently I have you with a regeneration ring, but. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've forgotten something. How'd you lose all your magic items? He I didn't. Did. He gained more slots. Oh. Well, being literally full up and being well equipped are two different things. I, I, I it's understood it to mean equipped well enough. No, no, so, no. Who's, who's full up? Who can't, who can't use anything else? Oh, you mean attunement? Thank you. Yeah, I was just wasn't trying to meta that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what's the rule again? Four. It's a three plus proficiency. Right. Three. I'm full up. I can probably make room. <laughs> oh, I can make room. If that's what you're asking. Oh, right now I'm I'm using the ring of regeneration and I have six hours a day until my arms back. So. so the reason why I ask is I suck at gambling. 
But I have in my possession an item. And I pull out the ring of the Sword Coast, uh, the luck of whatever that's called. Uh, yeah. Uh, where you go? The ring that helps you gamble. Ring of the luck of the Wild Coast. I have this handy ring. Whoever's going to do the gambling needs to use this ring. And then is it pure luck or is there a skill roll in there? I, I doubt that there is, but what's the... Are there any modifiers to the gamble? There is not. What it does is the, the, the ring, um, what it does is allow you to add, add or subtract one from each die rolled in a game of chance. Uh, yeah, that that's like the only item that has power in this. <laughs> So you can add one to all your die rolls and subtract one to all of their die rolls. Let me check my my slots. <laughs> and I would use it, but we all know my dice rolling sucks. You you keep rolling twenties. That's you keep hurts. I do advantage on just about every attack. Fine. I mean, just, just, I'll do it. Uh, it's it's going to fail, but... Alright, I'll do it. You mean wait, you're wait. less random than I am? Is that what wait. you're saying? I have a few abilities that could possibly affect it. You do? Okay. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, a skill uh, ability skill check, isn't it? With the gambling, isn't it? Uh, uh straight, no, it's a straight roll. Yeah. No, no, no abilities come into play. No. No, it's the reason why I ask is because I can shift rolls. It's, it's not an ability check. It's just a straight D20 rolls. And you just got to get higher than them. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I can force re-rolls. <laughs> well, what, what allows you to force re-rolls? Uh, well, no, I'll shift. And what does that actually say, though? Uh, like, it goes. It starts with attack rolls, ability checks, saving throws, or force a creature to re-roll. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to work. All right. Yeah, I think that's mainly attacks and ability checks. All right. Yeah, because it's it's basically chrono shift is a shifting in time. That's what I was wondering. It seems like it's a oh, spell, which I don't it, think they would stop you. It will not it will not work in Cobalt's Alley. No time. In Cobalt's Alley then. That's right. There's no time. Scratch that. That's another thing. No time. <laughs> so yeah, so we have the ring. L no one has lucky. I'm assuming lucky doesn't work in there. Um well, I do have a luck blade that allows me to re-roll the die. <laughs> luck is luck. <laughs> I, I know, luck I got luck. that too. So I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> would, would, would a luck blade work in there? Uh, that's what I'm looking up right now. <laughs> oh, no, it wouldn't because it's attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Yep, nope. No, no. No, if I thought about it, I wish I'd used it earlier. Unless, of course, you have a wish left. I, 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 don't, I don't think any of the luck blades we had had wishes. I have wishes. Uh, some of the luck blades did have wishes. I don't remember if mine had any or not. Um, I think I used mine bringing somebody back. Yeah, no, I think yours had one or two. I honestly don't remember because I didn't write it down. So it's so long ago. Yeah. Yeah, we were still in roll twenty at that time. Yeah. Mine has three. I honestly can't tell you how many mine had, if any. Yeah, because I thought Lucky, Lucky, you used one, right? At one yeah. point in time. Yeah. So. There we are. So you've got 
the ring. And that's about the only way we can influence this our way, is the ring. Yep, and that and wish. I don't know if we want to start burning through those. So we could just wish for a pile of astral diamonds? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a problem with that. <laughs> okay. Wish is finicky. If you try to do something outside its normal boundaries, you know, doing an 8th level spell, not that hard. Ninth level spell might be a little questionable, but at a single astral diamond is worth immense amounts of gold. And we need a speck, a stash. So instead of wishing for an astral diamond, we wish for Horde's astral diamonds. <laughs> no. Uh, I, honestly, I don't care at this point. I have a ring. It'll make changes to the rules. That's all I know. Well, it will be quite useful. So, um, first off, who has attunement slots besides me? I don't have any attunement slots. I don't think I have attunement I mean, slots. I could move stuff around. That's not a problem. I just don't have any open right now. Yeah, I don't have any open at the moment. Let me double check. So, wolf cloak. <laughs> I would, yeah. The, the I had one open one until I did the ring of regeneration. So any one of us can do this. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll I'll just do it. You know, you guys are all whisted out. So yeah. I will. If we take an hour, I can swap attunements to uh, the ring. Wow. Okay. So take it. Take a short rest. I swap attunements to the the ring of the wild coast. Okay. Give me a coin. Let's go. Do this. So, Craig is going to be the person using the coin? Apparently. Uh, unless you want, and someone else wants to volunteer for it. And who's going with Craig? I'll go with Craig. I'll go with Craig. Okay. No other volunteers. Okay. No more victim. I mean, volunteers. All right. Let's uh, use that coin. Okay. Wager. Uh, question for my friend. I am not your friend. I am not your friend. No, I'm talking about the big, the big green one. Mm. Go ahead. Um, we're looking for a specific soul. Is there a way to request that? Mm. Yes. Wager. Is there like a minimum wager for specific souls? Mm, depends on the soul you're asking for. Uh, or, yeah, there you go. Be specific. Mm. So everything you have, everything you have, and everything you have. And he points okay. to all three of you. That's what I was trying to mention about the price. All right, well, this could be end game, guys. <laughs> I will quickly, silently mutter a prayer to Clang and then help my large green friend move those dice in the right way. Or we could back out right now <laughs> and just go and do it. We, we need to do it at some point, don't we? Do what? Get, get the soul, because we, we needed to fight Tiamat. At this point, it looks that way. Oh, if you guys are ready. 
Hold on, please time for a second. Let me take one more look. I don't think I have anything. Let me go, go on all this new shit I just got. <laughs> You, know, you guys know I'm going to literally lose, right? It, it's it's in the dice. No, you're not going to lose. <laughs> I'm totally so lose. you have a plus two to this roll? No, nope, plus one. Well, yeah, oh. you're right. Two, because it's plus one for me, minus one for them. And this is a d20? <laughs> <laughs> and you I guess have the... a luck. Oh, Come on. It's like 5d20, isn't it? You roll 5d20 and you line them up. Yep. So wait, so is it... Come on. Is, did, they, did this guy take account that I'm, I'm in a symbiotic relationship with a really powerful soul? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we are talking about a deity soul here, dude. That's all I was asking. I was like, yep. Yeah, hang on. I'm having a problem. Yep, yeah, so... Come on. I mean, well, the only other option is trying to sneak in, dump all those astral diamonds in. I mean, that could be more solve the problem. I mean, it doesn't fully solve the problem. You know that, right? Does put a band-aid on it and does give us a chance to get stronger. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> what the hell? I wonder if we can get it. If we can go drag your bodies back to the anvil and figure out if we can put soul reincarnated souls into the, your bodies. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty ruthless. It's like, what's your alignment again? <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> that's Me something people can't well have done. It, it, and it had crossed his mind, but he decided. I mean, your souls are taken, so it's not like I can resurrect you. It's just so. Uh... <sighs> Asmodeus appears across the table from you. It's like, what the hell? I've got a war to fight, and you guys are screwing around wagering souls. We need four souls. Then give it up. Yeah. I'm going to barbecue that silver dragon when you lose. What silver dragon? Oh, where do you come from? Is that my silver dragon? Yes. I didn't summon that dragon. It was part of the wager. Oh, shit the bed. Yeah, no, it's all souls. There's my roll. <laughs> so wait, what's the ring do? Guess. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh my gosh. Bravo. Really? Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> uh, where are they? <laughs> Okay, so 18 beats 16. 18 beats 14. 15 beats 13. Crag 1. Yep. I tell you, Crag, you have little faith. Hang it and bless you. I'm sitting here muted. Uh, yeah, no, don't forget, I had one minus one. <laughs> it's yep. even better. I was, I was like, I'm assuming you're, if you were minus, adding one, minus one, one to one of these rolls, I don't know which one would go. <laughs> it said to each roll, so it's literally plus one to each roll, and minus oh. one to each of his rolls. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> nice doing business with you. Uh, yeah. Put it in the hammer, please. <laughs> 
I don't yeah. think it'll fit. And he holds up okay. a jar of kind of a noxious bluish liquid. I take the jar from him. Put the hammer inside? No, I'm going to put the gem inside, but not here. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be very gentle with this. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for doing business. Um, I'll be... No, I'll be seeing you again. Yeah, not more than likely, yeah. Ta ta. God. Yes, you will. <laughs> He's pissed. I told you, Craig. I told you it would work fine. He is pissed. <laughs> So uh, I put this outside of this building and away from the dragon in the building. Okay. Uh, okay. I. Yeah, I'll stay in the tower until this is done. I can All right, go. I go outside. I'm gonna, do you want me to put you in a protective field? Just I don't think it's going to matter. Now. It's going to matter. Craig? Yeah. You notice a few things are different now about yourself. I look in my pants. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Uh, you are significantly stronger than you used to be. Um, for some reason, you have sprouted golden hair. And you now seem to have uh, new items. Uh, one is a broadsword um, with a lightning hilt. And, uh, you want to go inside and beat the shit out of, uh, Galgrim. Steady. Steady. Do I need to make a roll? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, what do I need to roll? This is going to be a wisdom check. Wisdom save. Nope, but I'm going to use my luck bait and roll again. Nope. <laughs> I, don't, I can make it 17. That's all I can do for you. The base roll is 17? Don't help him. Well, don't, don't help him not to try to go fight the dragon. <laughs> but it's the, it's Galgrim. He's the, he's, he's, is he an evil dragon? I thought he was a no, good dragon. No, he he is a good dragon. Uh, yeah. Okay. I thought I thought I thought it was stated that he only wants to beat up lawful evil. No, it is. He hates dragons in general, but lawful evil dragons are like. He 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 just goes bonkers, and there would be no stopping you. Well, apparently there's no stopping right now either, so... <laughs> Hang on. Okay. He said he changed it to a 17. Now, does do you still get the whatever the bonus is on that 17? Okay. That makes it a 20. You're still in control. No, 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 no. What's his name? Steady, steady breathe. Cord. 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 Cord, yeah. Cord. Can you hear me, Cord? Mm. Somebody, for some reason, changed my name to Bob. I, I didn't know. <laughs> and your other part didn't know he was Cord either. Now, we got your soul back from uh, the, the red and horny guy. Yeah, go I, drinking I, with the wrong people. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I want to let you go, but we need some help. Uh, what do you? You're going to enjoy. What do you have in mind? 
We need you to beat up Tiamat. Uh, hang on a second, guys. Okay. You want salad or chips? No. Okay. He's had a bad allergy thing for the past 30 minutes. He's been... <laughs> and then he stopped and then I was rubbing his back. I was doing stuff. I gave him one cc of children's allergy thing. I can't find a better girl. So... Seems to have subsided now. I've been holding his feet up and rubbing his back. That seems to be a good position when he stops. Oh, all right. But he makes that piston noise, you know. But it was just a little. He woke up, was sitting on the chair, and he woke up. He was like coughing. So take a damp cloth and clean his face and ears and his paws and all underneath. All right. In case it's allergy or so, you can sit there for a while. Okay. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you go? No, that's it, it, all right. Uh, where were we? Uh, uh cord. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, uh, Cord's like, where, where, where is she? She, she's in the, the well, she's at the uh, city of Greyhawk, right? At the portal. See, she stole something that we need to get back to make everything right. Okay. Uh, basically, describe what happened with the anvil. Hmm. So, uh All right. You down for some tussling? Yeah. All about me. Okay. No. I'm not very smart. I don't know how to free you. <laughs> oh, that's easy enough. Just pour me on the ground. Do, do I put the put the hammer on the ground too, or do I just take the gem off the hammer as well? Uh. Just take the gem off the hammer and and then pour this goo on top of it. Okay. Are you sure? Tell him about tell him about Lockgar. We don't need a. I don't need oh, to die. We have a friend that that might be have a dragon friend that we would really prefer you to not kill because he's going to help us fight Tiamat. What kind of dragon? I think it's silver. Silver. Mm, uh, uh, all right. Thanks, man. You're cool. I put the gem on the ground <laughs> and poured the goo on it. Are you, are you going to push the jar over and run, or are you just actually actively... <laughs> I'm it on there. Craig's not that smart. <laughs> okay. Mm, so, as you pour, the storm clouds start gathering around the tower. Uh, you start hearing a lot of thunder... Start seeing lightning. The winds start picking up. Is it very, very frightening? It is. <laughs> uh, particularly when the lightning starts taking chunks out of the tower. This is why Ken's on the first floor. <laughs> Watching that. the inside, you hear Lockgar saying, Mamma Mia. <laughs> um, and kind of a slightly taller than the average human. Naked, bronzed, God, takes shape. I give him his broadsword. I think this is yours. Ah, yes. Thank you. Do um, you need this hammer, too? I don't, I don't know much about this hammer. Is it yours? No, that hammer is actually not mine. Okay. Now, the second question is, does the hammer lose any of its abilities? No. Cool. You alive out there? Oh, <laughs> I, t I take that back. It does lose one ability. Smitey? Uh, the, yeah, the uh, destroyer of items. Okay, so the adamantium or just the 50% chance of destroying magic items? 50% chance of... Mm -mm -mm. And 
You guys said something about diamonds. Yeah, there's uh, uh there's a bunch of astral diamonds we were hoping to uh, find so we can close this portal that team had opened. Unless you have a better way of closing it. Well, the diamonds are kind of a pain to carry, so uh, we'll just wait till we get to the portal. Uh, there's technically two portals. There is two portals, right? Or just one? I forget. Yeah, there is technically two portals. There's two portals. Uh, one, one's Edmodius and one's Tiamat. Yep, and Asbo, Asbodius had your soul. He's not happy about losing it. Oh, sorry, I'm not there. Shut up. No, nah, it's fine. No, I mean, I'll be yelling at shit. <laughs> Lockhart's from the, like, in the tougher tower boat. He's like, Asbodius had your soul. And he wasn't happy about losing it. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, technically I'm prohibited from directly engaging uh, Asmodeus or Orcus. But I will send you some help. Uh, two days time, meet at the gates of Greyhawk and cast of my clerics and warriors and paladins will be there to assist you. We can do that. We should probably go talk to the Lords of Greyhawk and get them to chip in too. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I am going to go ahead and call it for tonight. Of course. A lot of has happened. <laughs> yeah. Did we level? That's the real question. No, of course not. <laughs> nah. We could use it. <laughs> Next time, you will be fighting. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was an emotional roller coaster for crack. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just luck you landed where you did. Because oh, basically, any other deity would have gone, who the hell are you? <laughs> but, the, yeah, this guy's like, Hey, here's some entertainment. Uh, don't forget the net 20 on my performance. Show. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you had the best luck today. <laughs> yeah, you were pulling 20s out of your butt like they were. Oh, that's funny. And I got rid of a cursed item. Yeah. On accident. And nearly took out the entire fucking <laughs> Oh, it was only like 26 damage. It didn't take out anyone at all. No yeah. one was going to fall for that. Yeah, honestly, no. Uh, yeah. Just Not the damage, just being near the, the blast radius possibly getting sucked in. Yeah. Oh. Alright, guys. I'll see you in two weeks. Alright. Righto. Cool. Wait, two weeks? Or are you, coming for, or are you not coming tomorrow, uh, next week? Uh, he's, he said he was out Easter weekend, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. right. I think oh, we're right. probably out Easter weekend. Yeah, you're right. I f actually forgot. Sorry. That's okay. So is it three weeks then? So I believe the idea is Easter weekend we're not playing, and then the weekend after that I'm hoping to have my campaign ready to start that one up. Okay. Uh, keep in mind uh i'm going to give this to you guys as an option for my campaign uh, the people that i'm actually making it for are planning are you going to use it uh the the piety and the uh origin system from the mystic oddity of odyssey of theros book yes well about it. it's available to be used in that campaign oh oh um how do, what gods will there be okay that's that's kind of the the big backstory. I don't know how late people want to stay here tonight to go into it, um, but basically, it's it's not it's it's not um, forgotten realms. It's a, it's like its own little plane, but it's pretty much all the any kind of deity from any pantheon you want to pull from is available. Okay. And uh, there's a reason for that backstory from the first campaign which you guys don't know about, uh, but there's also some other special 
deity like spirits that were available too. So, uh, I'm interested, but let me go use the restroom real quick. Okay. Well, I don't know how many people are actually want to stay up. I think some people are fine. I, I can stay up, and I'm curious about that with my character. All right. Well, I have to pull up my notes. I don't know. Tony, are you wanting to stay a little longer, or are you done? I think I'm done. Um, right. Well, like I said, it's something I, I when I finish my write-up, I can send it out. So it's not something we all have to stay here right now. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. See you in a couple of weeks. All right. All right. See you. Good night.